Hey guys, uh, Sam Pro again with another video. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna do more of like a real rant because I really feel like I, I haven't um, really vented like very well enough. So I'm really gonna show you like how much I really just can't stand Apple and how much like, you know, I can't stand iSheeps. Well, I've kind of already talked about iSheeps, but like also my experience with Apple and why I switched to Samsung. So, I'll first start off with a little iSheet introduction that, like, Apple is nothing more than a status symbol. That's what they are. They are status symbol. You know, Samsung is always released. There might be a few, but it's pretty rare. But a few things that maybe, maybe Apple said was new, like, was there. But most of the things that Apple comes out with now is a copy from what Samsung did first. Now, the iSheeps don't want to deny it, or want to deny it, but it's true. You don't want to admit it, but it's true. Samsung's released it first, then Apple comes behind and copies their ideas. And it's like, that's another reason why how Apple basically assumes we're dumb, because they copy, uh, basically, what Samsung already did. You know, but Apple's nothing more than that simple. If Samsung releases it, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Samsung sucks. Oh yeah, it's trash. But then Apple releases it. Oh my gosh, get this innovative company. It's like, get, get out of here. It's like, get out of here with that nonsense bullshit. It's like, come on. But, you know, it's, it's like, that's how like, you know, it's because it has a freaking Apple logo on it, they're going to praise Apple for being innovation, innovative. It's like, no. So that's just like no introduction. So, I'm going to talk about one major thing, I'll, first, I'll now get into like one of my major experiences with Apple and what finally drew the line, I'm like, oh, I've had enough of this garbage. So this will be regarding an iPad mini that I owned, an iPad mini 2. So I think this was like three years ago if I remember correctly. It was a while ago, but basically uh, the issue was... I would plug my headphones into the headphone jack and it would trigger Siri. And sometimes it would trigger when I plug it in. Other times it would just happen on its own. I'd be having the right the device propped up, watching YouTube, randomly just happens. You know, it basically out of my control. So that was really pissing me off. I'm like, this I I can't stand this. So I go to the Apple store. This issue involved three visits, none of which were satisfying, and every single one of those visits, Apple basically treated me horribly and didn't give a damn. So, I'll start off with the first visit. The first visit, I go in there, and this is basically what happens with almost every visit when you go to the Apple store. I go in there, I give them my information, I open up a ticket. Basically, so what's crazy about this, and I think part of the reason why also just kind of Apple's just system is just garbage, is because... My iPad was almost, it wasn't there, I remember, it was like, a, I think it was like a month before. It was crazy that it was almost at the end of the year for the uh, one year warranty, but it was a month from expiring. But I opened the ticket before the month, and I even did research to make sure, once you open a ticket, as long as you opened it before the expiration, they fix it. Um, so, you know... That's basically, so I opened it before, before. so I opened it, and I kept it open during these three visits. And these three visits were a span of like, like two, two to four weeks, if I remember. It was like five years ago, so it's, it's kind of vague, but I do remember the very specific parts that I want you guys to know about. So I go to the Apple Store, and they basically do what you, what you expected in the Apple Store. Oh, yeah, have you backed it up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I backed it up. Okay. Uh, have you done an a update on software? Oh, yes, I have. So... Basically, what they did was they plugged my device in to one of their MacBooks, to the stores, and they basically did a factory re reset. So basically, wipes the device. It's like new. I set it up. They said, "Okay, come back. If it still happens, we'll see what we can do for you." Okay, that's fine. I said, and I was like, "Oh yeah, we." The, the guy basically told me, "Oh yeah, we'll write it down in our notes. We will come back, or come back if it still happens. We have it in our notes. So if you come back, you could see that we did this." Okay, fine. I go home, still does it. I go back, second time, and I tell him, oh yeah, I was here recently, I recorded, a, or not recorded, I'm getting the recording video, uh, 
I come back and I say, oh yeah, the, I uh, basically was here a couple days ago, or a week ago, if I remember correctly, I can't remember which one. It was pretty recent. Uh, and they basically say, oh yeah, uh, we have to see it in person. Or we, ha we have to see it. I'm like, not not personally, I'm getting to that. But they, they said, we have to see it. I'm like, okay. But I was just here. Like, okay. It's like, well, did, can you, are you able to see in the notes that I was there? Oh, yeah, we don't have anything. I'm like, were you kidding me? I was here a couple of days ago or a week ago, and they wrote it down. Oh, yeah, we have to go buy what our system says. Just regard the customer, even though I told him I was there. Okay, that's fine, I guess. So he was like, okay, record a video and come back. Because I explained, he said that after I explained to him that it just happens randomly. I can't control it. I cannot make the issue happen whenever I want to. It happens on its own. It's like, okay, record a video. Okay, fine. I go back the third time with a video, and he tells me, oh, yeah, we got to see it in person. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? You guys told me that I could record a video because I can't control the dang, the dang problem, and now you're telling me, oh, yeah, we got to see it in person. And I said, I want to speak to a manager right now. I said, I've had enough of this. And, like, the manager comes in and is like, okay, uh, what's the problem? Oh, yeah, <coughs> I tell him, oh, yeah, uh, I came in three times. They didn't write down when I previously came. They're not, I'm, I'm having an issue where I plug my headphones into the headphone jack and it triggers Siri. I'm like, oh, well, do you, do you like gaming? I'm like, yeah, why? I'm like, oh, you should, you should upgrade to one of the new iPads. I'm like, no, I, I just want to uh, get this fixed. Well, Come on, man, you know, I know the iPad Mini's kind of old, and it's like, you, you need to know, I'm like, no, I'd, I'd like to get it fixed. And, like, well, come on, and, and he just kept pushing, and pushing, and pushing to a point where I almost, and I kind of did snap on him, I'll tell you in a minute what I said to him, but he just kept pushing, and I told him, I said, no, I want my issue fixed. And he's like, well, sorry, we, uh, we can help you. He told me that after I told him I don't want to buy a new one, he said, oh, well, I'm sorry, we can't help you. And he just walked away. I'm like, are you effing kidding me? You guys are gonna just... It's like, that was awful. It's like, they just... And, and my device was under warranty. That was a hardware problem. And I've been tick I've been babying that iPad, never dropped it, never broke the screen, and they're gonna say this crap to me. It's like, like you, you don't matter. Like, come on, let's switch to the Samsung side of things. I had a similar problem. I bought a... Not a similar problem. I bought a, a Galaxy S10. You know, and I switched to the notes, gave my S10 to a friend. I love the note. Uh, but uh, for a while, I had the S10, and when I bought it out of the box, the battery, I noticed, was draining really quickly. Uh, and it was obviously in warranty because I just bought it. And uh, Samsung says, oh, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll fix it for you. Uh, send, us, send the device in, and we'll replace the battery. Okay, that's fine. They replaced it to me for free. I even had another problem with a, with a uh, what was it? With a S8, this was two, three years ago when I when I first switched, and I'll talk, I'll get to what my experience of switching. But when I had when I got an S8, uh, I was paying for T-Mobile's because that's my care. T-Mobile's phone insurance, and I dropped it, and they had to basically, uh, I basically replace it. This was before I realized that T-Mobile's insurance company is a scam. They were sending me up to five, uh, five different devices that were defective. T-Mobile obviously doesn't know how to replace one of them, had a defective screen, one of them button was broken, one of them was not charging. It's like constant issues. I never had a perfect device from T-Mobile. The reason why I sent my device out to T-Mobile, it was an unlocked S8, was because <coughs> I dropped it. Uh, I regret that. I should have sent it to Samsung, but I didn't. Uh, and you know what Samsung did for me? Even after they knew I dropped it, they said, oh yeah, we'll, we'll replace it for it for free. They did not charge me anything, and they gave me a new device. Could you ever see Apple doing that for their customers? Could you ever see Apple even after dropping it? You know, Samsung didn't have to, but they did. I'm just showing, like, how amazing Samsung treats their customers compared to Apple. Apple doesn't give a damn about their customers unless it involves them getting more money in their pocket. Um, you know, it's just like, it's just these things. It's like, I was so freaking irritated. You know, I'm like, I'm, when, when, when the Apple Store uh, manager just walked away and didn't help me, I got rid of that device. I threw it away because I'm like, this is horrible. And I switched and I, this was, you know, I then switched to Samsung. I'm like, I've had enough of this. I switched 
And I'm like, wow. I'm like, I, I got to know. I'm like, this is amazing. You know, obviously people say that, oh, yes, Android's hard to use. Because you've never used an Android phone before, you're obviously going from two different operating systems, so of course it's going to be different. But I adjusted to it real fast, and man, I never want to go back. But, getting on to my rant now. I've experienced it firsthand how Apple treats their customers, obviously, after sharing that with you. They treated me horribly. Samsung has treated customers right. It's crazy because iSheeps don't listen to anything that anybody says, even if there's hard evidence in their face. And I know I kind of said this already, but it's like, it's like, how do I even, how do I even say this? I don't even know where to start. It's like, oh yeah, Samsung, do, Samsung doesn't matter. Samsung's trash. Oh yeah, Apple's the best. Even when I can show you, because one of the things I was recently talking to somebody, somebody was uh, basically replying on my YouTube channel telling me, oh yeah, Samsung's trash, and I sent him a video, or not a video, of uh, a photo of, guess who makes Apple's screens? Samsung. Obviously, they don't want to respond. It's just like, it's just, what I can't stand is Apple knows that they're controlling people. They use such crazy terms, like liquid retina with the XR, to basically cover up the fact that they can't innovate. And you know what's funny? I don't know if you've heard of their air power. Their air power is basically... A wireless charge. Guess what happened with that? Apple failed at doing it. Here's the reason why I hate Apple. The number one reason. Not because they lie. They don't take responsibility for what they did wrong. And I've never said this one before. Samsung. If Samsung screws up, iSheeps always go, oh yeah, Note 10 battery. But guess what Samsung did about those, or not Note 10, Note 7 batteries exploding. Samsung did a recall and offered everybody a new device for the S7. You know what Apple does? Oh yeah, we slowed your phone down. Oh yeah, here's a discount. We'll cut the price in half and give you $30 instead to replace your battery. See, Apple wouldn't ever, Apple would never give customers a free replacement even if they wanted to. They are such a greedy and evil company that even if they screwed up, they're gonna do the bare minimum to make it right. They're going to do the bare minimum. Samsung does, basically takes responsibility and they change it and they make it better. But Apple doesn't give a damn about their customers. They lie and they brainwash people. It's because, again, it goes back to that thing how I said Apple basically assumes that their customers are dumb. It's like, we can do whatever we want. You're going to listen to it. It's like, until people realize that Apple's screwing them over, they're going to keep doing this doing this crap over and over again. So I hope and pray that, you know, the company will put their foot down and say, I've had enough of this. This is not right. You're screwing us over. And, you know, another thing, too, this is another thing that fired me up. Apple basically, Samsung, you know, people say, oh, yeah, Apple's better because you have the Apple Store. You can drive there. Oh, yeah, okay, but here's the difference. Samsung treats their customers right. And they have stores that are certified that have OEM parts, original manufacturer parts. I, when I got my S10, a battery replacement, I was able to take it there. I've watched a video recently that Apple, basically, they intentionally, intentionally stay in control. If any customer goes anywhere else other than an Apple store or replaces the part that's not an Apple, Apple product, Apple basically programmed the device to shut itself down and tell you, oh yeah, you gotta go to an Apple store. F you, Apple. Screw you. It's like, it's like, you're just like, so greedy that they're gonna rig their phone. Like, I watched a video, and I can leave it in the link in the description if you guys wanna see it, where a guy basically did a test. I think it was an uh, S20 and an iPhone 12. And he basically took them both apart, put uh, a new camera in it, that was both of them, I think, yeah, I think that both cameras were both OEM, and, because he got it from Apple or something, I think, he, like, he was, I don't, I don't remember, but, like, it was original manufactured part, uh, I think it was, yeah, I think it was, but, either case, when he replaced it on the S20, or the S20, the phone still worked, 
when he replaced it on the on the iPhone 12, it shut itself down and said, camera's disabled. And then guess what he did? He took the part, put it back in, and it started working again. It's like the like Apple programmed the phone to not work unless Apple replace re fixes it. Like that goes to show you, it shows you that Apple is intentionally screwing with their customers' devices. That you know, unless Apple fixes, unless we charge you a ton of money to fix our own mistake, you're not going to get your device working. Guess what, Apple? I have a Samsung phone. I will never touch one of your products again. You guys suck. You guys are a horrible company. Even though you guys are successful, the stuff that you do is morally wrong. Even though a business has got to do what a business has got to do, Samsung does it right. Samsung doesn't lie and tell their customers that an iPhone XR has 720p and covering it up with the words liquid retina and lying to their customers. Apple does that. Does that crap? I meant Apple, not Sam. Samsung's good, but Apple like basically carving up the fact that the iPhone XR is made is made with 720p with a phone that came out uh, like five years ago with the iPhone 4. If it was, I can't remember if it was five years ago or not, but the, it's equivalent to an iPhone 4 display. Samsung tells you what the device is and doesn't lie to you at all. So. You know, it's just, I can't stand people supporting this. You know, it's just like, you know, it is about preference, and that's fine. Part of it, and I did say this, part of it is about preference. But another part of it is Apple really is doing a lot of things that are wrong. Here's another another uh, example, and I think I may have talked about it. With, I, I think I talked about it in my video a long time ago. This one proves that Apple's a messed up company, and that they know what they're doing is wrong, because... I talked about it a while ago, and I'll say it again. Louis Rossman, the computer businessman in New York City. He basically, a customer went to the Apple store, and the app, and the, basically, uh, uh, Apple basically told the customer, oh yeah, your, your computer's water damaged, oh yeah, you're going to have to spend $1,500. He goes to Louis Rossman. Louis Rossman says, oh yeah, your device is not water damaged, you just need two pins that have been back. It took him one minute. It was for free. And then the video went viral. Guess what Apple says? Oh yeah, we're going to have to shut your business down, Lewis. Use the power of the government to shut your business down. I don't want to swear, but F you, Apple. I, I'm trying to stray away from using foul language, but... You, Apple. It's like It's just like... You're trying to take a business down. It's like, you know, you're, you're mad because, oh, yeah, if any truth comes in. Oh, yeah, any truth comes in at all. Oh, yeah, we don't like truth. We're Apple. We don't like truth. Oh, yeah, get the truth out of here. We control our customers. We lie to them. We take advantage of them. We don't care about you. It's like, get the hell out of here, Apple, with your bullshit. Get the hell out of here. So, you know, I think I've fent it to my heart's continue. You know, it's just, you know, people are going to continue to support Apple, yes. Maybe they do, yeah, some parts are preference. But another part is Apple doesn't want to admit the truth. They screw their customers. What they're doing is wrong. And, and, I, and I will say, yes, maybe they're not the only company. There are probably are a lot of other companies out there that are also evil, too. But in terms of Apple goes, people defending it, people saying, oh, yeah, they're right. You're wrong. That's just morally wrong. Hopefully one day people will realize that what Apple's doing is wrong and people will change. Because... Apple basically has such a stronghold on the general public and they continue to manipulate customers and they're going to lie to customers and continue to treat them like shit. And people don't realize it. Again, it's like that friend that keeps manipulating you and lying to you and until you can admit you're being lied to, they're just going to keep screwing with you. You know, and again, I see they're going to come in this video and be like, oh yeah, you're just overreacting. Oh yeah, Apple's better. I know you guys are going to say some stupid comments like that. And like I said before, I'm just going to ignore you. I'm not going to listen to it because you guys want to continue living your living your little world and you want to continue to support Apple's bullshit. Go right ahead. But I, I, as for me goes, I don't support a company that treats their customers like that. Not only do they lie, assume their customers are dumb, by telling customers, oh yeah, we make an innovative phone. Oh yeah, our phones are the same. They're not at all. So, 
Thanks guys for watching. Uh, you know, I, I, I also, you know, maybe it is a little crazy, maybe I'm over, overboard with this, but like, I, I feel like not enough people really are aware of the truth. A lot of people don't uh, basically admit that they're being screwed with or people don't realize it. So hopefully this video will bring people's attention what Apple's really doing because many, many people out there, the truth gets, gets hidden. Apple, if any truth of any sorts, Apple sees, they take it down and try to sue, sue somebody even though what they're doing is wrong. So thanks guys for watching.